Dear students and friends, welcome back to my session on Arduino in 22 days. We are in day 7. Now, in this 7th uh, day, we will see about how to use analog input and to find the analog value and also to map using the help of the LCD module because from the display only we could see the values. So, that is why the LCD module is required. Okay, so yesterday we saw about uh, the uh, I2C module with the uh, input. If you press uh, input button one, one display. Input button two, another display. Okay, I'm using the same circuit. Okay, here, then uh, here we'll be, I'll be using one uh, uh, 10k variable resistor. That is the only addition here. So as usual, you know that uh, this is the uh, nano board. LCD display I'll be using, see two line display, then I2C module I'll be using, the wire connections already know it, but anyway this is this file is available in the description and as the link, you can download it. Uh, in the previous uh, yesterday's thing I used two push, bu push buttons, oh, so I, I strike off those things, okay, it is there but I strike, I strike off. So I will be using the variable resistor. Okay, now using the screwdriver, uh, I, if I can rotate this one so that uh, that resistance value can be z varied between, it is a 10k resistor, so it can be varied between 0 to 10k. So this is the left, uh, left pin, right pin, the mid pin. The wire connection is, already wire connection for the uh, LCD is available here. The wire connection is given here. Left side left end to 0 volt, this 0 volt, this to 5 volt, this you connected it to A0 pin of Arduino, A0 pin of, A0 pin of the Arduino. This is very important. Okay, this is the connection. That's all. Now we go back. So the Arduino has uh, how many analogs? Analog 0, analog 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, analog nan uh, Arduino Nano board has 8 analog pins, whereas Arduino Uno has only um, 6 uh, analog pins only. Okay, so it has 2 more analog pins actually. Uh, you know that uh, this, uh, this particular uh, I2C module already, uh, it has uh, taken A4 and A5 already. So this A4, analog 4 and analog 5 A5 are uh, required to connect the LCD module through I2C or I2C. So you have 8 minus 2, 6 more analog channels are available. Now in this exercise, I used analog 0, A0 pin, this pin. Okay. In addition to that, already I connected a D2 and D3 for the push buttons, you ignore it. I am not using it here, it will be there, but uh, uh, in the loop, in the program, I did not uh, uh, set any action for these things. If you want, you can take it. Then make a note of it, the analog inputs, you know, before seeing the program, the analog, uh, let me make it bigger. Maybe in different color. The analog input is with uh, 10 bit uh, resolution. Meaning, ten bit means two power ten. Two power ten equal to zero to are 1024 divisions. So here that means 0 is the first digit as far as uh, the Arduino is concerned. So 0 to 1023 divisions, uh, 0 to 1023, totally 1024 divisions you can get it because it is a 10 bit system, this particular board. Uh, some boards are having uh, with uh, 12 bit, 14 bit, 16 bit, 30 bit and so on. The weighing machine Sandal uh, is having a, a, a maybe a 24-bit system. So uh, 
the number of divisions you can that is why they can they can you can uh, see the uh, even the milligrams because the resolution is high so from this you will understand about say for example uh, the the goldsmith will be using a uh, uh, very accurate uh, weighing machines you know so the bit is higher to uh, instead of 10 bit uh, they may go for 24 bit or so so 1 mg accuracy they can get it so that is possible only if you increase a bit okay so this 24 bit is well and good so from this aspect i could say uh, uh, this kind of uh, facility or feature or flexibility is not there in uh, plc actually uh, when, when when it comes to analog when it comes to analog boards are much costlier uh, as far as plc plc analog boards are much costlier but for this uh, 300 rupees uh, you have eight uh, analog channels and 16 digital channels uh, in arduino you know? so it is really dead damn cheap actually what is just filling analog analog is uh, okay analog okay so this is the program we i let me show you the program okay now these things you can ignore but anyway let it be as such okay Mm, see this is the thing sensor pin i am using sensor pin that is connected with a0 so let me go to this one mm, the image is not that good so i connect i connected this one you know this is the variable register so the midpoint you see this wire is connected with this a0 so this is a0 this a0 the connected here midpoint this left end connected to 0 volt this right end connected to 5 volt very simple the right is the connection so this is uh, this is uh, this particular knob is at the left extreme so that is why the value actual value is 0 the mapped value is 1 I will tell you now uh, 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 actual value and mapped value sensor pin is assigned with 0 the sensor value initially at 0 map value variable also I am using uh, this is the setup block we see the uh, loop block so the program is only one, two line program sensor value it reads the analog value from the sensor bin it is that value stored in analog uh, sensor value then i am using map command this is the syntax for the map this is the syntax for the map that is already in, i said it is a 10 bit system you know so first value is 0 last value is not the 1024 it is 1023 because first digit is 0 so this 102024 that is 0 to 1023 is mapped with 1 to 101 okay so the thereby actual value you will be seeing the map view also you will be seeing in the second line okay instead of using 101 uh, let if we say a 10 or 11 maybe okay so 0 to will be 1, 1023 will be 10 or 11 that's it so here I get uh, this uh, 1000 divisions ma mapped to 100 divisions instead of 100 or 101 if I use a 10 this 1024 division is mapped to 10 divisions that is the logic so these are the standard uh, thing you uh, don't uh, knock uh, yeah, strain much so you just copy it and paste it in your uh, uh, Arduino IDE Arduino compiler uh, right now I am using Arduino 1.8.10 right so just uh, verify first of all whether the program is good it will be okay suppose if the library files are not installed in your system properly you will get some error message then as I said earlier include though install those library files using this include library command then the port is also while fusing the program onto the uploading the program onto the board these things are important either, either you can use you know also you can use so you have to choose set instead of nano you have to set you know now all along i will be using nano so i have nano three different types and port these three things are important then only you can you are able to upload the program onto the Arduino board okay that's it shall you see the program now the running i compiled i fuse the program already now let me play the video now the program is there 
it is so now you see using the screwdriver i am about to uh, turn either clockwise or anti clockwise so initially it is zero so slowly i'll be or tilting and uh, rotating it in clockwise direction you see actual value and mapped value proportion in the maximum is uh, the year the 2023 so that is corresponding to 100 or 100 around maybe yeah, 101 1023 corresponds to 101 instead of 101 in the program let me pass go back to the program here instead of uh, 101 if you put 10 this 1023 corresponding to 10. Now I will be showing the the my uh, the tilting also. Let me show now. You see the screen now tilted to zero. The zoom out. You see I'm slowly. Yeah, I tilted to certain distance. Now the value is uh, somewhat increasing. Tilt is some more. increased some more value still increased i think uh, tilting to the its extreme that's it okay so this is the program for finding the analog value because uh, these things are uh, these things you need uh, in developing some uh, real products okay so this file contains everything this file is the, the program is here these th these things you can remove if you want if you remove those things you have to remove this also okay so you copy entire content you can run it even though uh, yeah, see if you what if you have the software you just copy you can uh, verify the program you can just verify the project by taking the using this tick marker you can verify the program uh, if you have the board then only you can upload the program onto the board at, and you can physically see that otherwise uh, this is enough okay uh, serial communication yeah serial communication is not connected okay the board is not connected uh, one more thing i would like to s tell you Yeah, I didn't give any command. Okay, so uh, today you saw about how to find the analog, how to use the analog input to find its value, and also to using the mapping command also. Okay, uh, through LCD we saw all those values. Okay, so that's it. That is the end of it. Now, if you like my channel. You please subscribe it inform this to others your friends and students so then uh, they will also get benefit uh, from my sessions actually thank you